دوکسیده آل ارشاد آل ارشاد اسکولس قیمه اسکول دم قیاس کجود با لغو و دقتریا و آن قیب دو رقمان آکراسیدا قیب با ایمیل تای. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My dear students, we are going today. Today we are going to discuss about our lessons. Today we are going to be grammar because we have already finished with the English and textbooks. We are through with the syllabus. So we are going to do with grammar. We are going to finish up. Because we are still lagging behind. Okay, we are going to start with where we were adjectives. So we are going to start with our last substrand is going to be degree of comparison, which is going to be there are in English there are three degrees of comparisons. These are positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. We use degrees of comparison to do what? To describe and compare qualities of nouns. That's the, that's the reason why we use these degrees of comparison. Okay, we're going to start with the positive degree. The positive degree, we use, it is used to describe person, one person or one thing of the same quality. E.g., for example, Abdi is a good boy. That's we're going to, we're not, we, don't, we don't have something we're going to compare with Abdi. So Abdi stands alone. And his quality is, he is a good boy. That is, Abdi is a good boy. No, there's nothing to compare there. So there's, this is a positive. As I said before, positive degrees, they use one person or thing of the same quality. Okay. The second, the second, the second example is, a big tree has fallen. There is a tree there which has fallen, so there is nothing to, there is no other tree, maybe there is no other tree that's around that area, so that big tree has fallen. So this, we don't, we're not going to say there is, there is no comparison there. The first, as I said, before I, before I, before I, I, I can remember, I could, I could go, go back for some and, and reminding, a reminder that degree of comparison, these are levels. They are the first degree, the second degree, and the third degree. Those are the positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. Those are like levels. The degrees are like levels. So you have to begin with the first level, second level, and third level. So the first level of degree, this positive degree, it says that it describes person or things of the same quality. Okay. For example, why do we say of the same quality? Why do we use this? Because we use this for this kind of sentence. Look at this sentence now. For example, now let's say, Rahma is a clever, as clever as her sister. Rahma is as clever as her sister. Okay, this means that this is one person, and this is another one person, this is another person. So we're going to say, Rahma is as clever, she is clever, this Rahma is a clever girl, and her sister is also clever. We are trying to say that, we are trying to say, we are trying to say that, Rahma is clever and her sister, like her sister. That's the objective of this, what you mean uh, in this sentence. Okay. So, we, go to, we are going to the second one, which is going to be the comparative degree. That's the second level we are going to see. So, what is this used? It is used to compare two sets of persons or things. The first one, this one, positive. It, is, it was used to compare one person or thing because there's no, there was no comparison for Abdi and there was no comparison for a tree. But this quality of clever is between these two people. So that means Rahma is clever, her sister is also clever. Now, in this comparative degree, we have two persons or things that are being compared. These are normally comparatives are followed, are followed by than. You must use that normally, you are told normally, usually, oftenly. Than is followed in the qualities of the comparative. For example, there are two people here. Look at this example here, over here. This is Khalid, is bigger than Musa. There are two people, there is Khalid and there is Musa there. Okay, so we, as I said before, look at this uh, point here. It's saying that normally comparatives are followed by than. So this is the, the, the comparison over here, this big, bigger. So we're going to use Khalid is bigger than Musa. That means there are two people. There is Khalid and there is Musa. So Khalid is bigger than Musa. Okay. 
than is used there, okay, as, you, as you can see. On the second example over here, you see, Sahara is more intelligent than Amina. There are two people. There is Zahra and there is Amina. So we are going to use, we are going to use the comparative degree. We cannot, we cannot use the positive degrees because of what? Because there are two people over here. There are two people. There is Zahra and there is Amina, as you can see. Okay, Zahra is more intelligent than Amina. So there's, comparis there's, a, there's a comparison that if you compare between Zahra and Amina, that means that it doesn't mean that Amina is dumb or she doesn't understand anything, but she is intelligent. But if you compare between Zahra and Amina, we see that Zahra is more intelligent than Amina. Okay, don't forget that point. Because if, we say, if, you, if you think that, if we say Zahra is more intelligent than Amina, and, and that in, in the back of your mind you think that Amina is, is she, she's dull or she doesn't know anything, that's not correct. You must, you must, look, you must look at this, this sentence, you must view at this, you must look at this in this way, that Zahra is more intelligent than Amina. That's, that's the sentence, the, way, the proper way, that Amina is intelligent, but if we compare to Sarah, if she is compared to Sarah, Sarah is more intelligent than her. Okay, this superlative degree, it is the highest degree of quality. It is the highest, the highest degree, because this is the first degree, followed by the comparative. Now this is the third one, which is the highest degree of quality. It is used when more than two persons or thing are compared. As you can see, this one I said compare, and this one I said compared, but this one in the positive degree, I have not used that word compare. So you have to note that. You have to note that I have not used compare in the positive degree, but I have used it in the two degrees, the other two degrees, the comparative degree and the superlative degree. In this, why did I say we don't use compare? Because there's nothing to compare, because there's one person over here, and there's the quality of the person which is being saved. Okay. Don't get confused. Okay. It is, uh, let me repeat this point. It is used when more than two person or things are compared. Now these are not two things, not, not two persons, but more than. That's the number which it can be three people, four people, five people, and more than. Okay. Usually, superlative degree is preceded. It's, it comes before. It, uh, it usually, superlative degree is preceded by definite article there. This there is a definite, is it, we know it as a definite article. There are articles, in English there are three articles. The, this are a, an, and the. So the is a definite article, the, the other two are indefinite articles. So the is preceded. That, that means that you must, if you see, if you want to see that, if you want to see the difference between this, the other degrees, to this one, you're going to, you're, this, this is like a hint, you're going to look at this one. Because if you see there, if there is, that, there is, pre, is preceding a quality in the sentence, that means that, that means that this degree is superlative. What is preceded? Preceded means comes before. It means coming before. For example, Jamal is the tallest boy in class. Look, there comes before the quality over here, tall, which is in its superlative degree is tallest. We are comparing between Jamal and the rest of his classmates. In the class, Jamal is the tallest boy. That means, that's, in, that's, the, that's the meaning of this sentence over here. That means we are comparing, not, we are comparing a person to the rest of the people. That's way, that, now that's, as, that as, uh, before, uh, like I said before, uh, the degree of, uh, this, this degree we used, we used it to compare more than two persons. We are comparing a person and the whole class. Okay, to sum it up, we are going to do some uh, like oral question. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to answer me back. Okay, if I say this sentence, for example, if I say, uh, for example, if I say, uh, Ahmed is a clever student. Ahmed is a clever student. What do you, what, which, which degree do you think it is, it's coming under? Is it going to be positive degree? Is it going to be comparative degree or is it going to be superlative degree? Look, 
I said Ahmed is a clever student. That means it's positive degree because we're not, we're not, we're not, we don't have any other person we are comparing to Ahmed. Okay, let's come to another one. Another oral question I'm going to give you and I'm going to say we're going to discuss. Okay, for example, if I say um, Layla is a good, Layla is better than her sister. Layla is better than her sister. Which degree do you think it's fall under? Is it going to be positive degree, comparative degree, or superlative degree? Okay, it's going to be comparative degree. Why am I saying that? Because there is Layla, I said, Layla, and I'm comparing her to her sister. That's two people, there are two people there, and there's than. The hint there is than. If you see than, the comparative, we are, the, the degree we, use there, we are using there is comparative degree. Okay, let me give you another simple question. Okay, and you are, you're going to think of it. If I say think of it, you, you, have, to rem you have to remember, you have to remember the, the point I said before, and then you are, trying to, you are trying to answer back. Okay, for example, if I say superlative degree, uh, for example, if I say, uh, I give you a, uh, like a question, uh, if we say that, um, if we say that Kasim is the heaviest, Kasim, sorry, if we say that Kasim is the fattest of, uh, if, we say that, if we say that Kasim is the fattest boy in and if we say that, for example, let me come back, sorry. If I say, for example, that, and if I say that Ahmed is the best student in his grade. If I say that Ahmed is the best student in his grade, which degree do you think it comes under? I said that Ahmed, I'm comparing Ahmed with the students in his grade, so he is the best. That means it is superlative degree. Okay, you're going to do some exercise that I'm going to send you, but today, some oral exercise. Although I have not written them in this board, but you're going to try by yourself. I want to send you an exercise that you're going to write at least one sentence of positive degree and one sentence of comparative degree and another sentence of superlative degree. Okay, we shall continue from there because this is the last strand of this topic and we were, we were discussing earlier on. We did the kinds of adjectives. We already finished that, the kinds of additive, uh, adjectives. We already finished the, we already through with the formation of adjectives, how adjectives are formed. And now this is the last substrand of this topic, the degree of comparison. So we're going to carry out, we are going to carry on from there next period, inshallah. So keep intact and then we shall finish as soon as possible. And we're going to, we are going to the next part of speech, inshallah, where you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Duxiada, Al Irshad, Al Irshad, Iskuris. Gima High School of the Mingayas, a good bar, Lagu, the Gadaria, Wana Gaiba, or Roman or Karasada, Gaibiba, I melt high.